five minutes later. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Well, the COVID-19 pandemic and the compulsory stay-at-home order had led to significant changes in the way people work. One of the changes involved the increased use of video conferencing as a means of communicating or holding working meetings. Zoom, for instance, had 10 million daily meeting participants in December not 2019, but in April 2020, that number had risen to over 3 million daily users. And other video conferencing platforms like Google Meet or uh, Microsoft Teams has also experienced a significant increase in daily participants. Uh, furthermore, it is likely that the use of video conferencing will continue more after the pandemic ends, as Garner predicts that only 25% of this meeting will take place in person by 2024. Well, uh, because of the convenience and the popularity of Google Meet, so our team will focus on analyzing the squad of Google Meet. So, first, uh, in terms of its strength, the meeting and classroom interface is user-friendly, intuitive, and easy to operate. Uh, additionally, it will support the real-time speaker subtitle through voice recognition feature and furthermore, its ability to access Google Meet via website more convenient than other apps using platforms. Uh, and when talking about its weaknesses, uh, its lack of realistic and effective interaction among users. Um, furthermore, it is unable to store message in the chat box, so when a user join late or exit due to network issues or on previous chat messages will not be visible. Uh, the next will be the opportunity of Google Meet. Uh, so, uh, Google Meet is a potential to grow more satisfied in the demand for indirect conferences. Um, what is more, involved with Google account enable users to interact with various platforms from Google, such as Google Calendar or Google Mail and the like. And uh, turning into the last is the threat of Google Meet. Um, its rapid technological changes will and quick advance in technologies require Google Meet are continuously innovating to stay relevant and competitive. Um, additionally, intense competition, uh, Google Meet is highly competitive with several well-established players like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Our team determined the problem of Google Meet is just meeting expected efficiency of such online conferences for the following reasons. First one, it does not allow the lifetime presence in the shared space. The second one, it limits the participant's ability to view community signaling. Thirdly, and sort of finally, the participant engagement in multitasking behavior during online meetings with their 30% of meeting involving email multitasking. To illustrate, you know, it's hard to control what the people attending the conferences, online conferences, are doing behind the camera. Now, coming to the first part, I will to tell you about what is the solution for this problem. Coming to our solution for the problem, I will to the result of efficiency of Google Meet by implementing the technology, the VR, virtual reality technology in the platform. The user can access to the Google Meet rooms, which has a 3D space for them, using the virtual reality glasses connected to the used devices. With the idea, the users can benefit with most realistic and experience in feeling while meeting online which also improves the efficiency of the information delivered, as well as the high quality of images in space of interaction. Moreover, the language translation feature of the developed platform increases the understanding of international conferences. Okay, so now, coming to the unique selling point, or USB. Firstly, it helps us to have more reality experience with simplicity and lively interaction. Secondly, it helps us to have deeper understanding of, of knowledge, have user experience, three have a significant degree visual immersion, enhancing their level of visual perception. Thirdly, it helps us to have higher level of possible knowledge implementation, allows users to build static virtual objects or information within physical space, such as placing a virtual model of a sculpture. Fourthly, it helps us to have remote reality, whether participating in a meeting room anywhere. 
Users can feel as if they are sitting in the same room thanks to the VR experience. And last but not least, it happens to promoting collaboration, where language barriers are removed. People can discuss in collaboration more effectively, leading to progress in projects or meetings. Okay, so next one is the value proposition. First one, digitalizing and evolving our educational system substantially, revolutionizing the way the education is delivered. Secondly, reducing costs in the economy, particularly in terms of space, allocating resources more efficiently, eliminating travel time and associated costs. Thirdly, promoting international integrations, virtual collaboration across borders become seamless. Creating opportunities for students from different nations and cultures to interact, share, perspective, and collaborate on projects, fostering a diverse and inclusive learning environment. Last but not least, conveniently across the educational content, collaborate with peers and engage with teachers in real time, irrespective of geographical boundaries, manage their schedules effectively, and balance other commitment. For our solution model, this one is just symbolic with two signs of users, but in fact, it can be applied with other users. User A can deliver information including sounds and voice to user B, while the image is digitalized in 3D space of Google Meets. User B can receive information of sounds and voice as when the 3D images from user A. This process is the same when user B delivers information to user A. Moreover, the information is translated before being delivered to another part of users.